Hey guys, I'm Chanmi, and in today's video, we are going to do chromatography, which is quite literally the art of science. Before we begin, please remember to share, subscribe, and press the bell icon so every time we release a new video, you get a notification. Let's start. Start by taking a filter paper and make boxes or dots of different colors using sketch pens. Next, take a bowl of water and dip your filter paper partially as shown. Soon, you'll notice that the paper starts absorbing the water and the ink spreads with it. What happens here is that first, the water travels upwards through capillary action. This is just like oil rises up to the wick of the lamp. The ink, which is soluble in water, also travels through the filter paper and diffuses, giving this cool gradient effect. This can also be done with the tissue paper. Make sure you fold the tissue paper two or four times to maintain the thickness, because if the paper is very thin, it will dissolve in water, leaving a mess. We can also make drawings using a permanent marker as the ink of the marker is not soluble and hence won't spread as much. This way you can mix and match what happens on the artwork. Go ahead and explore your creativity with some fun doodles. Another interesting thing that you can do with chromatography is transferring these patterns on wood and that happens easily. For this, take any piece of wood and stick the filter paper onto it using white glue meant for wood since it is also water based. Once it's dry, apply the colors as you like and dip it in water to kickstart the chromatography magic. Let it dry overnight or for 24 hours. Once it is completely dry, you can simply peel or rub the filter paper off gently and that's it. The design is now transferred on the wooden block. Enjoy science and do remember to share and subscribe. See you next time.